This is Daniil McQuillan from Team Ape, and I just got second place at the Atlanta Regional playing my Salomon Great deck, and I'm going to do a deck profile. So main deck, uh, it's 40 cards, one Gazelle, obviously, three Spinnies, some people cut it to two, but I play Desires, so it's better for the grind game if I play three. Three Foxy, because it helps you get to your combo cards, and it helps you extend sometimes and blow up uh, floodgates to Jaguar because I play Desires um, and now seeing Jaguar Gazelle is actually better than seeing Spinny Gazelle because Mirage Sally is no longer a thing but yeah those are the only Salomon Grey monsters I play in the main deck because I just feel like playing cards like Falco and stuff just I, I just didn't think it was good starters play nine uh, three Lady Debug uh, and Three Flame Buffalo. I was always a fan of playing three and three. Um, so I'm pretty cool with uh, you know running it like this. They all perform very well. Uh, then I play three Red Resonator, which was uh, the tech for today. Um, it actually increases the consistency. It makes it better if you see multiple um, of your, what is it, your starters, like as long as one of them is Red Resonator, because you could just get the other one out of your hand and you have extra fodder for some like not to mention every once in a while in time if you draw multiple you're you basically win but yeah you play horse prince and you can summon gazelle from the deck a lot faster with this card and i know lady debug gets hand trapped a lot but it's still good in my opinion hand traps play 12 three phantasma because i still want to draw cards um, and three Nibiru, because I was expecting a lot of Spiral, which I only played one of. Um, but, yeah, I feel like maining the Nibiru is good. And the thing is, I actually played against zero back row decks through all nine rounds. It's just all combo, like a bunch of Luna Light, uh, the one Spiral, Cyber Orchest, um, what is it? And just other combo decks, like Danger Zombie 2. Uh, three Ash, that's obvious. Three Impermanence, because that's still a really good hand trap. Oh, and just something to point out, the Luna Light matchup is actually not as hard as you think it is. Like, even if they set up their full board, I literally just play through it and make Helio twice and shuffle back their Tigers, and it's not that hard, honestly. And that's how I won both my Luna Light matchups, 2-0. Uh, Spelling Traps, three Sign and Mining, well, excluding Impermanence. Three Sign and Mining, because this helps you make your plays. Search everything. Uh, three Pot of Desires, because the last regional where I got ninth, I was really missing the um, third Desires, so I decided to just play three. Then one Sanctuary, one Circle. I don't play Will, because I think that card's just a brick in every way, shape, or form. Because I just, I really never want to see that card. I feel like I can play well without it. And one of each trap. I... Really didn't care if I banished one up desires. If I banish two, it gets rough, but you know it's still relatively easy. Uh, extra deck, three bay links. That should be obvious. Um, three sunlight wolf, uh, obvious. One Hita, because there's still a lot of fire monsters. One phoenix for back row, which again I didn't play any. Um, one transcode or one update jammer, one transcode talker because uh, this combo is just really good. This is how I like push for game because I see some people play Boral Sword. I don't like that. Uh, two Heat Leo because uh, just shuffling back row into the deck, shuffling tigers into the deck is just really good and being able to reduce attack is really solid also. Then I play one Opelousa. Uh, I make this a lot now with Red Resonator. A uh, one Borlo, this didn't come up, but it would have if I was able to make it, but I didn't summon this the whole tournament. Then the one Horse Prince, uh, because it just summons anything from deck. It helps you make, like, boards of a uh, Sunlight Wolf, Roar, Gazelle, two cards in hand, and, like, Opelousa with three or four negates. Uh, so, I was really happy with this card. You can even summon Buffalo off of it, that's one of the best things. Side deck, three Cosmic, just for back row in general. Three Twin Twister, which would have been, um, what is it? This would have been Lightning Storm, had I been able to get my hands on them. But, yeah, the thing is, I didn't side these in at all, because I didn't play against any back row decks. 
Uh, I play two Mystic Mine. This card won me one of my matches against Luna White. I could have used it against the zombie deck, but I was able to just push for game. Uh, two Dark Ruler no more, so I can just shut off an entire monster board and then just be able to win from there. And then this card was actually really good. I should be playing three of this. Um, just going first, I sided in, banish all their monsters, and they just can't do anything. So it was really good. Two evenly matched, just for going second in general, worked well. One red reboot, which should either be a third evenly matched or a third different dimension ground. Uh, so, I just wanted to say one thing. I actually got this card on accident. I was supposed to get Lion Emperor, but I got this card instead, so I decided to play it, and it worked out really well. So, uh, that's the deck profile. Shout out to Team Ape, Ape Gaming, and Team Prime Ape. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.